Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to the Chalk Curriculum Tutorial for Curriculum Authors. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create digital curriculum maps, add content to those maps, and make your maps available to members of your school. We've broken this tutorial down into smaller lessons, allowing for pause breaks in order to review what you've learned. The first thing we're going to cover is a brief overview of what Chalk's Curriculum Solution is. Chalk's Curriculum Solution allows you to build a unified and digital curriculum that can guide teachers' daily instruction. The benefit to using Chalk is creating a consolidated living curriculum that can automate standards coverage and create a collaborative, easy-to-use environment for your teachers to pull curriculum content and apply directly to their lessons. Later in the video, I'll show you exactly what this looks like. Next, we're going to review the different permissions within the curriculum application. Within the curriculum application, there are three different permission levels that can be given to accounts. These are curriculum creators, curriculum publishers, and curriculum viewers. Curriculum creators have the ability to create map content, and they can view and edit maps that haven't yet been published. The next role is the curriculum publisher, and they have the same permissions as creator, but also have the ability to publish and archive maps. This means that once a creator has created a map, if they want to publish it, they will need a curriculum publisher to review the map before publishing. The third role within the curriculum app is the curriculum viewer. The viewer can only view published maps in order to see content and add it to their lessons, so they won't get much direct use out of this tutorial. Just a review, in order to create curriculum maps and edit them, you will need to be either a curriculum creator or curriculum publisher. If you're not sure what permission you have been given within your school, please ask an administrator, as the admin of your school will be able to assign permissions. Now that we've gone through what the curriculum solution is and what creators, publishers, and viewers can do, we'll move on to how to create a new curriculum map. You can reach the curriculum map from the main dashboard in Chalk by clicking on the curriculum button. You can always reach it through the navigation menu in the top left-hand corner, and you'll be able to scroll down to the curriculum option. If you don't see these buttons, you will need to contact your administrator to make sure that you've been given the proper curriculum permissions for your account. Once inside the curriculum map, we'll see this page, with the name of our institution and the total number of created maps in the top left corner. Now, my school has curriculum maps and drafts created, but if your school is just starting when it comes to writing your curriculum maps, this page might be blank in terms of the list here, so don't worry if you don't see anything here. Please take note of the search bar and filters at the top of the page, which will make it easier to find the specific maps you are working on in the future. What you'll want to focus on is the new curriculum map button in the top right corner. Clicking here is going to open the window for creating a new curriculum map. The first thing you want to do is create your curriculum map name. We always suggest that your school chooses a naming convention so that it's easy to search through the curriculum maps and be able to find which maps you're working on or that you need to view and pull curriculum content from. So when I am creating my curriculum map name, I want to include the grade and the subject, because that's what my institution has chosen. As you can see in the list behind me, there's a couple of examples of what you can name your curriculum map. Some include course codes, like these, or some just use the grade level and the subject. It's really up to your school and what works well for you. I'm going to name my curriculum map after the grade level and subject, so I will title it Grade 3 Math. You can see that I have the option to select the template I'll be using for my curriculum map. If your school only has one default curriculum map template, this option won't be here. We won't go over unit templates in this tutorial, but if you want to develop unit templates for your school, you will need to speak to an administrator to receive unit template editing permissions. For now, I'm going to leave it on the default selected template for my institution. Next thing I want to do is assign the curriculum sets that I should be tracking and using within my curriculum. So for me, I'm going to search National Common Core Math. And I can see the curriculum set I want to add right here. You can actually add as many curriculum sets as you like and track multiple sets for your subjects. For now, I'm just going to use my National Common Core State Standards. Lastly in this window, there are tags, which are manually applied labels for your curriculum map. This is something you will want to discuss with your school and the curriculum writers that you're working with, 
To determine which tags you want to use so that your coworkers and peers can easily search for this curriculum map. Again, usually you can put the grade and subject area as tags, as well as any other tags that your school has chosen. You will still be able to change the name, curriculum sets, and tags on your map after it has been created by going into the curriculum map settings, so don't worry about getting them perfect. Once you're done establishing these settings, you can click Create to be taken to your map.